You did have a bit of a part in naughty party trick, didn't you? Which was like scoring um, drop goals blindfolded with a coat over your head, wasn't it? Some sort of special party trick? Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't wasn't that hard. I just stand right in front of the post and kick it from there. But but it was it was a way of me getting out of training. If I can get it, then obviously the coach will let me off. So I'm like, all right, sweet. Shut up. Tell look, please I'm explain this from the beginning. What you, you were bargaining with your coach? He was like running. You're like, oh no, kicking. If I get it over the post, I can go in. And is that it? <laughs> yeah, do that now, mate. But obviously, can't really get away with it. But uh, when I, yeah, when I was at school, I'd always be like, "Oh, if I get this in, uh, I'm done." And they were like, uh, "Yeah, all right." Not thinking I can get it, obviously. And um, when you put something like missing a bit of training in front of me, then I'm going to try my best to get out of it. So <laughs> uh, yeah, more often than not, I'd get it. <laughs> but there was very few times they actually let me off the rest of the session. But you're often when when people talk about those up front who can who can nudge a goal, you're you are always at the top of that list. I mean, would you back yourself as a goal kicker in a top flight game? Oh yeah, hundred um, percent. What game would we play? We played a game for England, and uh, obviously Faz is first choice, and then we've got forty if he's playing, and those who are playing together, and he's second choice. I always put my name as third choice kicker, but. I'd back myself to be best kicker in, in the forwards for definite. Anyway, amazing. Have you ever have you ever done it? You you often see those. I'm trying to think if you go back to the 70s, John Taylor with his whopping sideburns and um, was nudging them over from the touchline. Have you ever kicked in a top flight game? No, never. <clears throat> I'm also very scared to do so because I don't want to get abused for missing it as well. Right. Have you not kicked? Have Sorry you not? Have you, have you not chipped a ball in a game before? I think I've seen you do that, haven't I? Oh, I've kicked loads, yeah. I've kicked loads in the game, but not actually kicking the goal. Uh, actually, I'll tell you a story where we played Munster away in semi-final and I had the ball and we had about six-man overlap and turned around, <laughs> seen him, and just kicked the ball. The ball goes out in touch and Ashley's chasing it. As he's chasing it, I just hear him go, for fuck's sake, why the fuck's he kicked it? And just kept going. I'm like, oh my God. It was half time as well. So instead of chasing the ball, I just ran straight past him into change room. <laughs> straight to the half time orange. I, I, I would definitely back you as a as someone who can put boot to ball better than Cruiser, who probably oh should never drop God. the ball to his pedal ever again. I can't remember what oh, game that was. He's lucky when he catches the ball, to be fair. Mako, I've got a scenario for you, right? I've got to put it to you. Let me just paint a picture for you. Okay, it's the World Cup final. The one that just went. It's England versus South Africa. Okay, we're we're, we're equal. It's three. We need th just a drop goal to win, right? We need a twenty-two. You're out of breath. Shock, right? You're you're, you're walking from one <laughs> ruck to the other, right? Okay. And Owen Farrell standing one side. You're having a minute, right? And for some reason, the scrum half has passed you the ball, and it's only a few seconds to go. Would you go for the drop goal? Would you shit your pants and carry it? I'd love to say I go for the drop goal, but I know that I'll probably get the ball, panic, and then I'll just try to get a carry in so then Faz can kick it. Because <laughs> if I missed that, I would never hear the end of that. But if you won it... But if you got it... Yeah. See, the benefit doesn't outweigh the... <laughs> what happens afterwards? <laughs> oh, hey, that's a Hail Mary. Oh. I mean, I think <laughs> you, it's the correct answer, but I'd, I'd love you to say, do you know, I quite fancy my chances. If it was before half-time, I'd go for it, definitely. But no, 